Welcome to another video on our Embedded Craft channel. In this video tutorial we are talking about, coding of Max 7219, LED Display Controller. This is the third and final part of our tutorial, SPI in Linux. You can watch the first and second part of that tutorial, link is given in description. In this tutorial, we will write C code to program Max 7219 IC. So, relax and watch this video till the end. Let us try ping with board. Board IP is 192.168.0.115. Wow, ping is happening. Now, we will establish SSH connection. User is pi at the rate, board IP address Enter password Now we have logged into board Just to verify, type your name hyphen A We are into Raspberry Pi And PWD, returns our current directory We are all set to run our program now Here is our C program you can see, activity of LED display in parallel. This is main function, we will explain this program little later. Let me first run this program to check if it works. Right click, debug configuration. Our configuration name is LED matrix 1. Project is LED matrix, and we will execute program, LED matrix 1, from debug folder. As you see we set remote debugging. We have provided remote host IP address, username and password. And let us do debugging. You can see now, control is at the first line of main. Connection with remote host is established. We put a breakpoint at the end of program. Program will run till end of this line. Let us click on Resume button. Great, we have character A on the screen. It proved that, our program is working. We have written some more code to clear LED display. Let us put a breakpoint, at the end of main function. If we run till the end, now you can see that LED screen is cleared. Now, it's time to review our code. This is our main function. We have init SPI. Let us see what this function is doing. Entering into init SPI function. Here we are going to open SPI device. This code is for initialization of SPI device. Next, we are going to set SPI mode. IOCTL is the system call. Here we are going to set SPI mode. Here we are going to set the SPI speed. Next, we are preparing IOC transfer structure. This is data transfer speed. Data length. With this initialization is complete. Next, we have to prepare our load pin. This is GPIO25. Now we have to configure the LED controller. First, we have to turn on the LED controller. We need to prepare a 16-bit number which is 0x0c and 0x01 this is shutdown register address is c and value written will be 1 we have written write to SBI function going into this function here first we are making the load pin low preparing x buff tx with the value which we want to send to SPI at last Calling IO control with SPI IOC message command. Making load pin high again. With this, we have write to SPI function ready. We will call this when we need to send 16 bits over SPI. Now, we have to turn on LED controller. For this, we need to write 
one to shut down register. Next step is setting of displays rows and columns. For this we need to write, 7 into scan limit register. Next, we are setting intensity of LED display. We need to write, 0, to intensity register. Here we are configuring VCD mode. We need to write, 0, to decode mode register. Next, we are disabling test mode. We need to write, 0, to display test register. Now, we will write alphabet A on display. Now, we are ready to write into the data register. If you remember our, font, slide. We have values for data registers, to display character, A. We will write 0x70, into data register 1. We will write 0x88, into data register 2. And so on. Let us run this code step by step, and review what will happen on LED display. We will start debugging. We have created separate video, on the debugging of Linux application. You can refer video link in the description. Once debug context is set, we are on the first line of main. Stepping next. Setting GPIO number 25, as output. Power on, LED controller. Setting rows and columns pixels. This is intensity control. BCD mode. Disabling test mode. Now, we are ready to write into data register. When we will write value in the registers, corresponding LEDs in the row will glow. We are writing to data register 1, we are writing 88, LEDs corresponding to row 1 is glowing. Same as, second row. Third row. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. And, eight. That's it. Now we are able to display character on LED matrix. We have written code, to clear the LED matrix display. Let us continue debugging. We are writing zero, to row one. This will clear row one. Second row is going to be clear now. Third row. Fourth row. Fifth row. Sixth. Seventh. And eight. And done. So, you have seen, how to write character on LED matrix. With this we have completed our video tutorial series on SBI interface in Linux. Thanks for watching. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe to the Embedded Craft YouTube channel. Visit our website for more articles and tutorials. We will meet in our next video tutorial. Meanwhile, goodbye and take care.